and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top headlines. Ceiling breakdown at Kalavati Saran's Children Hospital in Delhi. Concerns regarding the safety of patients and medical staff have come to question at the multi-speciality centre run Kalavati Saran Children's Hospital in the capital after a portion of the ceiling recently collapsed with debris lying in the middle of the corridor. Luckily, no casualties have been reported. The incident took place on Sunday morning when the employees were working and suddenly witnessed a portion of the second floor corridor ceiling being collapsed. The part of the ceiling that collapsed connects the operation theatre to the lift and an accident could have occurred if someone had been standing underneath the ceiling. Big India's largest hospital that specializes in treating poor children is raising questions about the hazardous infrastructure that could have any time created a tragic incident and resulted in many lives being injured. Bicon Biologics names Shreya Stambe as new MD CEO. Bicon Biologics Limited, a subsidiary of Bicon Limited, announced that Shreya Stambe, deputy CEO of Bicon Biologics, has been appointed as the managing director and CEO of the company from 5th of December. He takes over from Dr. Arun Chandravarkar, who will continue to serve as the non executive, non independent director on the board of Bicon Biologics. Patient dies during appendicitis surgery, consumer court holds. Surgeon to anesthetologist hospital guilty of negligence. The State Consumer Disputes Judicial Commission of Andhra Pradesh directed a Vishakhapatnam based private hospital and its three doctors, including a surgeon and two anesthetologists, to pay Rs 40 lakh as compensation to the family of a patient who died after undergoing surgery for appendicitis. Referring to the medical records, the Consumer Court noted that the records did not contain details regarding what happened within the operation theatre before, during and after the surgery. The State Commission also noted that the inquiry report of KG Hospital Vishakhapatnam indicated that the patient went into a critical condition because of the administration of general anesthesia and therefore the Consumer Court opined that the burden is on the opposite parties to contradict the same by way of evidence. Researchers discover a mechanism that allows cancer cells to spread. A novel mechanism that allows cancer cells to spread throughout the body has been discovered by an international team of researchers offering a potential new target to halt metastasis which is to blame for 90% of cancer deaths. Its findings published in Nature, the team identifies that cancer cells move faster when they are surrounded by thicker fluids a change that occurs when lymph drainage is compromised by a primary tumour. Researchers said that now that we know that fluid viscosity signals cancer cells to move in a specific way, we can potentially use drugs to basically short circuit that signaling pathway and encourage cancer cells to slow down or even maybe stop. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.